when you are in the process of starting a food business any kind of food business it might be there are thousands of questions which come in your mind and you are constantly confused and constantly in lookout for answers when you are planning or, or you are in your process of starting your own food business so today we are going to work on and we are going to focus on the top 12 questions which you get while you are planning your own food business my name is gopal kamath and welcome to this channel my channel's name is get your restaurant and if you are a food preneur if you are an aspiring restauranter or if you plan to open a food business do subscribe to this channel share this channel and look at all the videos because this is a complete treasure box of videos which is coming directly to you from a hotelier i am a hotelier a restauranter and the founder of get your restaurant where we teach you how to start your own food business so without any further ado please subscribe to this channel share this video with your friends families and anybody who is seriously interested uh, interested in starting a food business of their own now let's move ahead first and foremost our topic at hand is top 12 questions which are coming from an aspiring food preneur food preneur is a combination of foodie and an entrepreneur so the number one question which everybody keeps on asking is is the restaurant business profitable of course there, there is nothing wrong in asking that question because we all do business for profits and if especially if somebody is doing a job and he is going to leave his job for the sake of he is going to leave this job for the sake of starting a food business this question will obviously come in his mind so let me answer this question of course a restaurant business is profitable if you are going to do a restaurant business in the right way where you have control over your costs where you have control over your working capital your operations as well as all the things which i teach you in my uh, on this channel as well as in my coaching program once you follow all these steps and you run a restaurant the perfect way it is going to be more than profitable and you are going to be compensated with a lot of profits uh, which you can take home you can invest and you can increase your standard of living second is can i start a restaurant side by side my job this is the second most common question which i get while uh, people are starting their own food business now my initial reaction to this question is no because i would believe that if you are doing one thing you should focus completely on that and not depend on or rather not uh, be doing something else once you have one project in hand you can give complete focus but then a uh, lot of people want to start their own uh, business but they don't want to leave their job so i strongly suggest them to take a partner who has who is going to be completely in that restaurant see a restaurant is like a baby let me tell you frankly and if you are taking care of that baby the baby will grow up nicely if you nurture it properly it will grow up nicely and it will turn into a good human being i mean compared to a restaurant which will turn into a very big and prosperous food business but if you are neglecting it then lot of unwanted things will happen and it will not become a profitable successful food business so that's why i need complete focus that that's one of the reasons why i always say no when people are asking me about starting a side by side restaurant uh, along with their jobs third most common question is i don't have the experience so i always give them a complete uh, examples of two three sp uh, specific people first is the uh, first is ray crock who is the founder of mcdonalds chain of restaurants not the original mcdonalds if you know original mcdonalds by the way if you have not seen please see the founder movie on netflix it is one of the best movies as far as restauranters go and uh, that movie actually throws light onto the fact that you don't require experience in order to start a food business so that is that is what is the answer to that question fourth question is i don't have any money so i don't think nowadays you require money in order to start a food business of course you require money physically to start a food business but getting money from anywhere is not a problem you have collateral free loans you have government schemes you can borrow from your parents you can accumulate money and then uh jump into this business so uh, money is not a problem so as the, the uh, famous tony robin says money you know the resource is not the problem if you are being unresourceful that is the problem so always keep in mind 
money and resources are available in the marketplace in abundance you just have to be resourceful and you will get what you want yeah then the sixth uh, uh, the fifth point which i have in mind is which i the uh, sixth point which a lot of questions which i get is i don't i have never done business so I, there is a typo over here i have never done business in my life that means that they are coming the people are coming from a, a job background or a government job uh, family but i think this is one of the common uh, problem obstacle in their head it is not a reality lot of people who have come in this business have uh, uh, succeeded in this business without having a background of business family or without having any business background so if you if you implement the principles the right way if you focus on doing the things which i teach you in this on this channel as well as in my coaching program you are going to reach there you don't require to be from a business family in order to succeed in the business this is not something like a raja ka beta raja banega type of thing yeah, it, these are all learnable skills once you learn them and you implement them you are going to become successful yeah the sixth point is which type of restaurant should i open this is this is the common question which i always get and i always tell them three things first is to look at their budget if they have a budget of opening a small restaurant never go and stretch to opening a lounge bar because it is not going to happen know your budget and open a, a food business accordingly second is passion what are you passionate about what is the type of business which you would like to go and sit at every day and that is what will help you to so you have to have that internal passionate connection with the business otherwise it is not going to work and the third thing is you have to look at the long term aspect this is not your first business so the third thing is you can always open another business in the coming year coming five years coming decade so just don't be very very uh, don't let this uh, question stop you and become an obstacle like oh my god i am just waiting to choose the right kind of a uh, concept just open a concept learn from it make it profitable and of course you will you will have that fuel in your uh, heart or your fuel in your stomach to go ahead and open the other outlet yes so then the seventh is franchisee or my own brand so here i have a clear cut bias towards my own brand because uh, franchises i believe are opening to make money for themselves the brands who are already franchising are making money for themselves so if there are franchises who are who are who are giving out franchises whom will they think about first they will obviously think about themselves they will not think about you so i believe that if you have an option between choosing a franchise and creating your own brand you should go stretch a little and create your own brand and then franchise it yourself so that you can make more money for yourself as well as for your uh, supporting your franchises now the eighth question which uh, i get a lot is how do i raise finance so as i said earlier getting finance is not a problem there are n number of schemes in the marketplace uh, and I, of course this is not a financial advice advice by any chance but you have collateral free loans you have schemes from governments you have support systems you have small msme business loans and so many uh, uh, available options in the marketplace but what but one thing which i want you to keep in mind is always make sure that your existing condition which is which you are in is taken care of at least for 6 months or 1 year before you jump into the business you cannot if you are if you are not doing well in your home front and you and if you have an option of doing a job make sure you do a job save some money and take care of the uh, take care of your day to day expenses at least for some time so that you can give some breathing space for your new business to take uh, traction or create a momentum for itself so if you have an option between opening a restaurant now or opening a restaurant 6 months later and if you are broke i would say you save some money and open 6 months later so that you can be comfortable mentally and stable and be very stable so that you can go out there and start a food business of yourself and give complete focus to it yeah then the ninth question is how to apply for licenses so just go in this channel i have created a specific video did in detail about which type of licenses you require for more or less all kinds of food businesses and the uh, 10th question is how to find staff again i have done another video about uh, recruiting staff uh, for your food business there are couple of ways in which you can recruit staff for your food business the main being uh, nowadays because of social media you can post your vacancies on 
Facebook, uh, uh, Facebook groups and or uh, LinkedIn and everywhere. You can use your personal connections. You can uh, uh, give advertising, uh, especially on newspapers, but mostly on online job portals. But what happens is once you reach out there, a lot of people will start coming and contacting you because they are in need of job. And they will refer it to their uh, known people and referrals who are in need of job. And slowly and steadily, you will start getting a lot of people asking for jobs. You can call them, you can take a trial, and then you can start recruiting the food business. It is as easy as that. And uh, I find that this is one of the biggest uh, uh, hurdles which a hotelier faces. But you have to do these things. And you have to give a little bit time for people to come and ask you for a job. It will not happen overnight. And you don't have to get... Uh, worried about it also. Oh my God, I'm not getting any people and all. It will happen over time. You have to give some time for it. Yeah. So then 11th is what if I fail? Now, let me ask you a question. And this is one very, very common question which I get. What if I fail in the restaurant business? My experience and I'll tell you a fact about myself. I have opened and closed at least two or three restaurants in my lifetime. And still, I am sitting in front of you. I have a couple of more restaurants which are running well. And I am see seemingly seemingly fine, good in my mental capacity, hopefully. <laughs> and uh, happy, happily living with my family. So, if you fail in the restaurant business, your life is not going to end. Instead of thinking, what if I fail? You should think how you can do it the right way by studying from a person who has already done it, by following this channel, uh, by subscribing to it, of course, by following this channel, as well as joining my restaurant coaching program, which I'm going to tell you later, so that you can learn from a person who has already done it. When you want to master a subject, you have to find somebody who has already done it and just do what he tells you to do. And you have to have a little bit of confidence. You have to get, get that uh, inner fire very strong and you have to have patience. As far as, I know this sounds very preachy, but it is it is a fact. Yeah. And now the last question, the last question is, I am feeling very nervous. Now, this is very common uh, amongst, of course, this is not a question, but this is just kind of like a feeling that uh, I'm feeling very nervous. This is a very, very common question, which I get when you start a food business or a restaurant, your initial three, four months, five months are going to be little nervous because you don't know what is happening. I give a simple example. When you are entering a dark room, you obviously feel very nervous and you feel very scared. Why? Because your eyes, your body, your mind cannot, doesn't know what is in front of you. And not knowing something becomes scary and it makes you nervous. So please don't mind that nervousness. Work through it. You know, let it happen. Work through it because once you, once everything starts following and everything starts getting uh, its place and your restaurant starts running well, the nervousness will come down and you will start gaining confidence. Once you start gaining confidence, automatically you will start making money and uh, then you can uh, then use the same confidence to create a couple of more restaurants of yourself. So these are the uh, 12 common questions which I uh, get from aspiring restauranters. Most of the uh, people asking me questions. Achha, by the way, uh, when we are talking about questions, if you have any questions, or comments, please uh, put them in the uh, comment section below so that I can read them and I can answer and I can make videos on them so that I can uh, I can give you more information about how to start a food business. And if you are serious about starting a food business, check out my website www.gopalkamar.in. I run a coaching program called as the Restaurant Launch Formula Coaching Program where I have broken down step by step how to start your own food business any kind of food business it might be it might be a restaurant cloud kitchen home kitchen any kind of food business plus i am going to come lifetime till you are alive or i am alive lifetime i'm going to come each tuesday and come live and answer all your questions wherever you are getting stuck so this is not just a training or this is not just a video training it is a coaching program where i coach you one-on-one -on -one on starting your own food business go to www.gopalkamot.in and if it suits you just uh, join uh, there is a small fee just pay it and join and i will see you inside hope you like this video and uh, please share this video with your friends your family and more importantly comment on this subscribe on this and i will see you in the next video thank you so much for watching up till now love from me bye bye